Okay, so impulse is a force multiplied by times or a, a change of momentum. Okay, now impulsive force. The uh, impulsive force is given by uh, this formula, and it's defined as the rate of change of momentum. Uh. Impulsive force is defined as the rate of change of momentum. Rate of change of momentum in a short action time. Uh, short action time. Uh, rate of change of momentum means how fast rate of change means how fast the change uh, how fast the change of the momentum okay so it's a measure of how fast the momentum change uh, and is a uh, short action times <coughs> so impulsive force F equals to mv minus mu over t uh, okay if we factorize the m, then we have m v minus u over t, right? And v minus u over t is equal to accelerations, uh, m a. So we have f equals to m a. So uh, this is the same formula that we derive from Newton's second law, right? Okay, f equals m a. Yeah? This is the formula that we, we derive from Newton's second law. Okay, so it means that impulsive force is is same as force. They are the same. Okay, it's one kind of force. Uh. Impulsive force is a force. Uh. So it's not impulse. Uh. Uh, impulsive force is a force and force cause the acceleration change, right? Force cause acceleration. So impulse cause velocity change. Uh. So they are not the same. So impulse and impulsive force is not the same. Uh. Okay, and impulsive force is a force. Okay, it's a force. But uh, it's usually when we use the word impulsive force, uh, we are referring to the force that act on an object in a short action time. It's a very short action time. Eh? Okay. If you push something with a very long time, then normally we, we, we do not call it impulsive force. Okay. Impulsive force is a force act on an object in a short interval or short action time. Okay. Uh, you need to memorize the definitions for impulse and impulsive force. Uh, okay, in my notes, uh, if I put uh, the definitions on the left hand column here, means there are something that you need to memorize. Uh, okay, you can see that in my notes, uh, there are two columns. Okay, so there is a big columns on the right hand side, and there's a small columns on the left hand side. Those things I put on the left hand side, left hand columns here, is for you to memorize. Uh. So when there is exam times, okay, and you don't have enough time to read everything, uh, then you can just read those things on the left hand columns here, okay, so that you can remember uh, uh, or memorize those things here.